the physical and mental and and psychosocial uh, burden is so much attached to this disease and people may not show it to you but actually if you start talking to them and if you really introduce something uh, doable to them they will come out and tell you how uh, uh, problematic this uh, uh, the edema or the hydrocele for them is and not only for them the entire family and when the family as a nuclear point is affected so it, the community will suffer when the community is suffer the entire country will suffer at the end. I have been living in a food crisis and in area since I was a child. So I've seen a lot of affected people and I myself have been affected once with an acute episode of food crisis. So the people who were affected, they don't really, didn't have any hope of getting an improvement. And with this trial, a new drug, and this community-based food care and all its components have really, I think, uh, brings us hope. <laughs> Most of the time, they have only very tiny lymphedema confined to the ankle region, initially after uh, sort of an acute attack. Uh, but the worsening of the lymphedema generally takes place after secondary infection from bacteria and fungi. And the bacteria and fungi are rather common in between uh, uh, the accumulate between the store webs and the, the deep creases like this and they are there so when you have like wet skin there the skin gets very really softer and then the infection can get in and can cause acute attacks so acute episodes of uh, adenal meningitis and that makes this become more uh, more you know uh, the severe, bring it to the severe stage by washing you can remove them or the accumulated fungi, the accumulated bacteria, you can remove them regularly. By removing them regularly and uh, drying up them regularly will give you a kind of a very good clean skin where the acute attacks, the episodes of acute attacks will really go down.